Oxraps asked, are there alternatives to a rich mixture in terms of keeping down the temp, so combustion chamber temp, such as water injection is what he's suggested here. So uh, yeah, absolutely, water injection is a, a really good solution uh, if you are stuck with a low quality pump gas, which will be prone to detonation, uh, then water injection does a, a really good job of cooling our combustion charge temperature. And the, why, the w reason that that happens is due to the latent heat of evaporation of water. Uh, now, what that simply means in layman's terms is that when we inject the water and it goes into the combustion chamber, it goes through a phase change. It turns from liquid into vapor. And in order to make that phase change from liquid to vapor, it absorbs energy in the form of heat from the combustion chamber. Combustion chamber. So that's why it reduces our combustion charge temperature. Uh, so water injection is one option. Uh, the other way of getting around this is to run on a different type of fuel. Now there's two advantages here. Uh, with E85, for example, we get the benefit of the higher octane that E85 has compared to pump gas. So it's going to be less sensitive to knock or less prone to knock even for the same combustion chamber temperature, combustion charge temperature. However, the other benefit of alcohol-based fuels is again, just like water, higher latent heat of evaporation compared to uh, pump gasoline. So it absorbs that energy in the form of heat. So it cools the combustion charge temperature. Uh, methanol is another really good example of this. And if anyone's actually seen uh, a methanol car running, uh, often at idle uh, you'll actually get condensation forming on the inlet runners because of the cooling effect of that fuel. Another reason why we see a lot of methanol drag cars don't actually run an intercooler, they're actually using the fuel essentially for uh, cooling the combustion charge temperature to a point where the intercooler is sometimes not necessary. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you're the type of guy who wants to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask your own questions, which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.